2023, the year where AI took over. If you haven't been sleeping on a rock, you'll know that ChatGPT is all over the news lately, and so are a lot of other AI platforms, to be quite honest. And if you're like me, to begin with, you probably just tested them around, hey, write a blog article about this, or tell me the differences between this, and while that's fun, it's not really productive use of the tool itself. So therefore, here are 15 ways that I'm using AI in order to improve my everyday life and how you can too. Let's get to it. First of all, you can use this thing called ChatGPT. This has been all over lately. It's an AI which allows you to ask all kinds of questions. It can be whatever and it will just answer it in text form. So one very simple way to use this is to write blog articles. For example, if you want to have a blog, blog article about Flutter versus React Native, for example, for your coding blog or whatever, you just ask it, it will give you a blog output in no time. Number two, I've also been using ChatGPT for legal agreements. For example, if I'm working with a client to make like a logo or do something for them, social media, SEO, whatever, I will then ask ChatGPT to draft a legal agreement for me that has party A, party B, our legal names, whatever, and then states the exact requirements, and then I don't have to spend time writing this, there's no need to find some kind of template, it will just do it. Most times it will, this will work super well. Number three, there's this thing called mid-journey. Mid-journey is something which will generate the picture for you, an image that design a picture of some kind. What you have to do to use this is just sign in for the beta, it's a Discord application, it's pretty cool because you can see all kinds of people generating their own images as you're generating your own ones, but what can be used is content generation. So for example, if if you want to create a print for some kind of uh, event that you're hosting on one of your social media channels or just some other content in some kind of form you can just input it for example you will do imagine prompt and you'll say i would like a boy overlook in stockholm for example and i would like it in a hyper realistic format from the 1970s and we'll give you exactly that it's pretty wild and it works pretty well number four you can also use chat gpt for coding help i've been using this so much and i'll say for example hey chat gpt can you write the flutter function that does this and takes this input and outputs this for example i have a user and I have a user ID can you generate a PDF or a CSV with this uh, format and then output that into the app and it will just write this function for me and it's so much quicker than going through stack overflow finding the documentation etc and I still feel like I learned this stuff but I just get to it so much quicker than if I have to do research on stack overflow and all those websites number five mid journey which we mentioned before can also be used to make logos of all kinds for example you can say I have this app called wonder sagas as you may know I could say I want a children's story book app with orange theme and I want a realistic and kind of classy logo for this. Can you please generate it? It will generate it. You can get four images. You can pick one of them and get it in more detail, for example, or you can get all four of them, or you can even regenerate this almost endlessly, pretty much. It's pretty cool and it works pretty well for inspiration. While it doesn't do so well with text, it will be great inspiration so you can change this logo yourself in Photoshop or whatever. Number six, ChatGPT, and this is something that I use quite a lot. If I get a long email, if I get a long text, for example, I don't really have the energy to read all of it, I'll just copy the whole thing, say it's 500 words, I paste it into ChatGPT and I say, Hey, can you summarize this in 50 words or in three bullet points, for example? And ChatGPT will take all of that text and give me the most important information real quick, saves me a lot of time. And that's why I always have a ChatGPT window open whenever I'm doing my work, if it's at my job or if it's here at home, doing my side project. But if I found that it's helped and saved me so much time. Number seven, mid journey can also be used to generate some pretty nice UI design, not necessarily UI designs, but some inspiration for it. You can ask it to create, for example, a shoe website or a grocery store page, for example, and it will create a pretty good looking outline that you can then work off in order to create a good looking UI design for your website. Just make sure that you're very specific with the prompts that you give it and you can do this for apps you can do this for apple watch apps even and you can even do it for website number eight sometimes these texts which are written by ai look very ai written because it's pretty good but at the same time sometimes you can tell that this was written by ai and not a human here's where quillbot comes in quillbot allows you to paste text for example if i take the article i wrote with ChatGPT about flutter and react native and say i want to rephrase the first part of it because i think it sounds a little bit artificial i just paste it into quillbot and it will come up with the, the exact same text but differently phrased and it will do it in no time make it look super good then also you can choose if you want it to look like it's been written by a human for example with what skill level etc so that allows you to really mask that you're using AI if that's something which you want to hide number nine pebbly pebbly is something which you can use to generate product photos all you have to do is upload a photo for example this is of a can with some kind of oil in it and you upload it and it can generate with a bunch of backgrounds make it look, look much better than if you just have a plain photo with a white background also it can save you so much time and effort and money because if you want to take proper product photos with all of your products it's gonna take so much effort for you to set it all up etc so you just upload a picture 
press generate or surprise me and then it will generate product photos for you that are professional quality. Number 10, tome.app. Don't we all hate making a bunch of useless PowerPoint presentations for various presentations? Fear not, because Tome app will, will allow you to create a whole deck of slides based on some input. For example, I have this app called Arbster. I asked to create a pitch deck for Arbster. It's for Arborist and it's a time scheduling, planning app, etc. And it will generate the whole slide with the contents, the conclusion, the index, for example. It will also generate pictures for it. Although the pictures aren't that good because they contain text and text generated by AI and pictures doesn't tend to be that good yet. So feel free to replace the pictures. But the text is pretty damn good and it works pretty well. You don't really have to change that much. And I found that really helpful, very time saving when creating this mindless PowerPoint. Number 11, chat GPT as a Google replacement. This is also something that I use chat GPT for pretty much every time. Like I think my Google searches have decreased so much when I'm just asking general stuff because I find that these days Google is just a hellhole of ads, of SEO optimization. It's not really made for humans anymore. It's made for crawlers which are used to optimize your SEO score and that's why content isn't really made for humans. It's not super good to Google all the time. It's time consuming and if you click one website you're gonna get that one perspective. But with AI, ChatGPT, you can put in something for example, tell me about the Pareto Principle and it will summarize what's on the internet uh, about the Pareto Principle and it will kind of weigh all of the stuff that's on the internet into the answer so that it gives you a very balanced answer you will get the average sentiment towards something if it's positive or negative if it's a majority positive on the internet you'll get a positive answer if it's a majority negative sentiment you'll get a negative answer and it was also very very good at weighing these things it will tell you like take into consideration this take that into consideration when you're using this answer in some instances so yeah i have found myself using chat gpt instead of google to an increasing degree and i think that it's very helpful because you get the answers quickly and you get them in a more human format in my opinion Number 12, ChatGPT for idea generation. So I've been using ChatGPT a lot just to generate ideas. It can be random small stuff like what am I going to give my cousin for his 18 year old birthday or what am I going to do for YouTube next week or what are some things that I could call this feature in my app for example. Just stuff. I guess to some degree this makes the human brain uncreative but at the same time this is all come from humans in some kind of way. So instead of sitting there thinking about coming up with something bad, you can get 10 ideas and you can pick the good one using ChatGPT and I think this is in addition with the Google search, this is what I've used ChatGPT most for and found it most useful for. Number 13, vidIQ has been around for quite some time. It's recently implemented some very useful AI features. For example, you can put in a title that you think is good and it will give you 10 other titles with their AI indicates are even better. Or you can come up with, for example, say, I want to make a video about Flutter, I want to make a video about coding or AI like I'm doing now. And it will come up with title ideas for that particular video. Also, it can suggest video descriptions, it can suggest keywords, for example. And this is one of the AI features that I probably use the most since I do make quite a few YouTube videos and lately I've started to take it a little bit more seriously so I'm trying to optimize these videos but the AI features in vidIQ are excellent to my experience so far and something which I use every week. Number 14 as you may have noticed from my bad pronunciation I am Swedish meaning that sometimes I have to translate some work for example if I ask ChatGPT to write something in English it and then I want to translate it in Swedish because I want to put it on a Swedish blog or Swedish website for example I may need translation and as you know Google Translate isn't always the best for example you'll tell the Google Translate to do something will come out to something completely different as you can tell if you're a native speaker of that language. I found that deep L sounds like a big loss by the way. It's much better than translating than Google Translate. It will sound much more human and won't really change your original text as much as Google Translate typically does. So I think this is very useful if you have a text written by AI in one language and you want to translate this text to another language and make it seem more realistic. Also, I guess this is a very good way to cheat on your language test in school. But don't do that, that is not advice. 15, last but not least. And this is something which I actually started experimenting with yesterday and that's called Synthesia IO. And what that does is it will take an input in terms of text and it will generate a video from that using a human. So it will be an output of a video of a human uh, where it actually pretty much looks like they're the one saying the words that you've put in. Now here's a sample video that I'm going to show you. I've used all my credits so I couldn't really make a sample video for this. But just take a look at this and how realistic it is. Hi Anna. Jake wanted to say that you are a rock star. Your contributions are a big part of the team's success. Thanks for all you do. Pretty damn wild. So those were 15 quick ideas on how you can use AI in your everyday life to improve whatever you're doing. There's probably so many more use cases. There's so many more advanced uses cases like in the medical field or whatever. I just focus on the one which I'm actually using. And it's pretty crazy how much these can do already. Like ChatGPT is probably the biggest miracle of this century, maybe even. That's probably an exaggeration, but it's getting there. And this is 2023, like imagine what this is gonna look like in 10 years, 15 years, 20 years. How will we be able to tell the difference between 
reality and what's not reality. Yeah, it's gonna be pretty crazy. We shall see. But with that said, I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know down below if you're gonna make use of any of these ideas and if you found it useful. If you wanna continue watching more videos like this about AI productivity coding, like my starting a startup series, then feel free to subscribe down below. Don't forget to leave a like on this video and I'll see you in the next one. Peace. Thank you.